Yo, what's good out there, guys? It's Roll Easy here. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is all about three really dope glitches that I wanted to bring to you guys. Uh, as you can see right here, pretty sporadic stuff that can possibly happen with one of these. But um, yeah, these are three really cool glitches. We have a car god mode glitch that I'm going to show you how to do. Uh, a very cool wall breach that's significantly new, probably only a few weeks old. And uh, a really dope launch glitch as well. All right, which is actually what caused uh, this little malfunction right here with the game. And funny enough, your friend actually can't see the fence uh, when this is your car glitched in there. All right, it's literally just you that can see that. So uh, yeah, without further ado, we're gonna get into this. All right, first thing we're gonna be doing is the wall breach. All right, so. This wall breach right here, it's located in this location, okay? So this is over by the, uh, what is that? That would be the east side of the map, all right? So as you can see, go to this location right here, all right? Now, once you're at this location, you wanna go ahead and I recommend using an oppressor for this. You can use other bikes, but the oppressor, I mean, you can, it's got the rocket boost, you know? So I recommend going, uh, this is the route that you wanna take, all right? You wanna go ahead and from the street, that area that I showed you, go over to this area and find these stairs okay so find the stairs and just go up the stairs make sure not to go too fast because you could go fall over kind of like I almost did right there uh, I'm gonna fast forward a little bit right here so please excuse my bad driving but uh yeah just keep following the stairs up as high as they go and then you're gonna see this little opening here in the door go ahead and go through it and then go over onto the roof area right here to the right and you can actually go straight from right here I don't know why I turned right but it's pretty much straight ahead for me so I'm just gonna turn around and you want to go ahead and go to this spot right here okay so you see down here this is the spot you want to go to this little cement stack looking thing and this brick wall this is the wall that we're actually glitching into so the reason I said you know the oppressor is actually a good vehicle for this is because it's got the boost on it so you can boost straight into the wall so that's kind of what you want to try boost straight into that wall kind of into the corner maybe a little bit to the left or to the right of the corner so it kind of moves you in a way but as you can see the wall is very glitchy uh, the bike is kind of you know a quarter of the way in and you can be even a little bit in there too now these are a bunch of fails things that can happen okay so you're not gonna get this first try probably if you do you're very lucky but it could take a few tries look at that you can even fly off to the other roof <laughs> it's pretty crazy but um but yeah so here is a successful attempt right here I didn't think it was at first because check it out it made me fly back but then I went back over and look my bike was actually halfway in there. So I was like, yo, I can use this. Let me get on there. So you see, I got on there. I tried to accelerate. I got kicked off. I'm going to go ahead and try to get back on again. You see, so I'm on and I'm inside the wall. I'm just going to try to drive forward. That's the best thing I can do. So if you find yourself in this situation, use this to your advantage. And you see that? Look, I was able to drive forward and I was able to just get off the bike. Well, I fell off the bike and then boom, it pushed me right into the breach. So this is a really, really good breach. That's what I'm saying, one of the fairly new ones. A lot of people don't know about this breach, but this one right here, you can shoot completely through it, okay? Most breaches like this, especially out in the open, they do not let you shoot out of here or they patch it up in some weird way. But like I said, this is a fairly new breach. Have fun with this one, do what you will with it. I know there's a lot of explorers out there I, and I get it, there's some trollers too, but I do this for the explorers, the people actually looking to have fun in a different way in this game. If you wanna troll with that, that's up to you and I don't recommend it, okay? But uh, yeah, speaking of trolling, this is the car god mode glitch. I know a bunch of you are gonna do it, and uh, it's just it's some it's part of the game, guys. All right, it's part of the game. This is all just to have fun. Okay, I don't condone any of that stuff. This is all just to have fun. So grab your MOC, and you're gonna need a friend to help you out with this car god mode glitch at the very end. So obviously you're gonna go into a public session with this. Grab your MOC, park it in a spot like this, okay? Now the reason I'm using this spot is because there's a sign right there that my car can fit right in between and I can wedge the doors to teleport in and you still wanna keep the blue circle, okay? So you need to find a spot like this and what you wanna do is go ahead and put the car in the MOC that you want to go God mode. So I want my Deluxo to actually go God mode. So I'm gonna go ahead and just drive the Deluxo out and like I said, the reason I parked right there is because there's a sign and that sign can actually cause me to wedge both sides of, or both doors, the driver's side and the passenger side door. So I'm going to go ahead and drive over to that area right there that I parked and I'm going to park right in between. Okay, so you see this park right in between and I have the right D-pad option. I'm going to try to get out and as you can see, I'm not teleporting. So if this happens to you, get back in, readjust the car, okay? Readjust the car and you will be able to teleport. You just gotta readjust a little bit. So that's what I'm gonna do right here. 
readjust, press triangle or Y to get out. Now I can teleport in and out. So here's the name of the game. Run away from the car, then run back towards it. And as you're getting to the car again, press triangle or Y and right D-pad at the same time. Okay? So I'm going to do the same thing. You're probably going to fail a bunch before you hit it, all right? But I'm going to go ahead and try it again. I'm not frozen. You want to get frozen. So here's a few more tries where it doesn't work. I'm not getting frozen. But this one, it does work. So I'm going to run away and I'm going to press triangle and right D-pad at the same time. Boom. I can't move my camera or anything. I'm frozen. That's how you know you su you've successfully got it. Okay, so this is where the friend comes in. Now you want to tell your friend to launch up a titan of a job. Okay, tell them to just go into the lobby, launch up a titan of a job. Now once they're in there, you can go ahead and join them. Okay, join them and sit on that first alert. We want to get the unable to connect alert. Okay, so I'm going to join them. I have the alert. I'm going to tell them to back out of the job. Once they're back down on the ground, I'm going to go ahead and accept this alert to go up into the sky and get an unable to connect. There we go. So I'm going to accept both alerts. It's going to shoot me back down and now I will be unfrozen and the car is God mode, just like that. It's actually a really simple glitch to do. You might not get it first try. It might not be incredibly easy, but it's very simple to do. Not too many steps at all. So I'm just going to test it out right here. And there you go. The RPG usually takes this thing down in one shot. As you can see, that is full God mode right there. So I recommend when you're in this state, don't go into any interiors. Uh, don't launch up any jobs or anything like that because it's the car that's in this state. All right. You can kick the car out of that state in a bunch of different ways. So I recommend once you have the car like this, just go ahead and have fun. Drive around a session. Um, word of warning, you are not God mode. Only the car is God mode. So that means that somebody, if they got good aim or you're in an assisted aim lobby, they can shoot you out of the out of the seat. OK, so don't think that everybody's in God mode when you're in this vehicle. Not true at all. You are not God mode. The only thing that is is the vehicle itself. OK, but that's how you do that glitch. So have fun with that one. Do what you want with it. Last one is the launch glitch, okay? This one, you will also need a friend to help you out with this, but the friend just literally has to walk into the car for you, okay? Like, that's all it is. So it's better to do launch glitches with friends anyways, you know? So you guys can kind of, you know, compete, see who goes higher, things like that. All right, take cool screenshots. There's a lot you can do with launch glitches. So you want to go ahead and go to this location on the map. Most of you know this area. This is the helipad where your Pegasus vehicles always spawn, okay? So you want to go to this area on the map right here. Now, once you're over here, get a streetcar <clears throat> or you can even get, you know, a regular personal vehicle. It's totally up to you. It doesn't really matter what you use. So you want to park it. You see this third gate right here. You want to go ahead and park it on this third section of the actual uh, fence. OK, and park it right there. Knock the fence over and park it just like you see me right there. Now, you and your friend, you both want to run over to this area, past the fence line, okay? Now, run back. When you run back, you'll see that the actual fence has spawned back in, okay? So the fence has spawned in, and the car is still there. Nobody touched the car yet, okay? You want to position yourself. If you want to do the launch glitch, you need to position yourself just like this, like I am there. I'm ready to climb up on the car. I'm going to tell my friend right here to go ahead and just walk normally into the car. Right when he's about to touch it, I'm going to climb on the car. And when I do, if you've done it successfully, you will launch up just like that. All right. This is a really cool launch glitch and very unique because I've never seen launch glitches bring you up in like a frozen weird animation. Like I was laying down there, legs fully out and everything. So this thing, is it's not the easiest launch glitch, to be honest with you, unless you've really got your timing down with your friend. But these are a lot of fails that can happen, okay? So here's one fail. You go to climb up onto it, and then it just knocks you into the wall or something like that. Uh, another fail is it just spawns you, like, to the right, to the side of the car, behind it. You kind of teleport through it. Um, things like this can happen, and this is all just due to timing. If you're going too early or too late, all right, you want to pretty much climb on the car a little before, like very slightly before they're about to touch it. OK, very slightly before they're about to walk into the car. So here is a perfect one right here. I hit it. I'm going to go ahead. As you can see, I'm climbing up and I'm already like up there as they're touching it. So that's kind of the timing you want. And for some reason, it took away health. I guess it takes away health if you land in water. But usually with launch glitches, it doesn't just steal your health like that. But that that those are all the three glitches, guys. This is one last successful attempt. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I wanted to bring you something new. We still have money glitches working. We still have DM outfit glitches still working. So a lot of stuff still working. But this Sunday, I just wanted to bring you guys a fun video with three random but really cool dope glitches. OK, so that's going to be it for me. My name is Roll Easy. Please subscribe to the channel if you're brand new by hitting that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. 
We are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Peace out.